testing this out. So I'll need some feedback on what it sounds like. I look like so official. I kind of feel like 2020 Britney Spears. So, okay. So we're doing, what we're doing today is three triceps, I mean four triceps, sorry. Three moves in each tricep, 10, almost every single um, move is 10 reps. Some of the body weight stuff is gonna be 20 reps. So you'll just need some light-ish weights. Um, heavy if you have them, but if you don't, that's also totally okay. Um, I'm gonna be using like medium weights and bands and that's all you need. So we'll go ahead. The first one is going to be B stance, goblet squat, then we'll do a plie squat, and then a lying abductor. So let me get my weight. A B stance, goblet squat. You're going to hold the weight up here. You're going to put your right foot in front. Your left foot is going to be towards the back, and the majority of your weight is going to be in your right your front foot and you're gonna go down and then back up and you'll do the same thing on the left side left foot in front okay that's the first one plie squat toes and knees point outwards feet are wide you can bring the weight down here and you're gonna just squat down chest proud back and spine Neutral, okay? Then lying abductor. You're gonna get a band. It can be one of these little um, rubber bands or it could be like a hip circle. Either one works. I'm going to use this rubber one for now. So lying abductor, let me move this more to the front so it's out of the way. You're going to two. Lie on your side and um, bring your right knee up. This will work your outer glute. And then you'll switch. You'll do the same, same thing on the left side. Okay? I feel like I just moved this headset. <laughs> okay, let me see what the comments are saying. you're joining that's so fun okay so B stance goblet squat 10 reps each side go ahead and grab your weight if you're ready I'm gonna start on my right side remember majority of that weight is in your front leg and we're going to go down for 10 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch, left leg in front, my right leg is back. You're really just using your right leg for stability. There shouldn't be much weight back there. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Plie squat. Drop your weight down. Toes and knees go out. Go for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, drop your weight down on the ground, lying abductor. Okay, we're going for 20. 20 on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, Hold at the top seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <clears throat> My voice is leaving me. Okay, switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, get a drink of water if you need it, and we're going to repeat that. Okay, I'm going to tie my shoes a little tighter while you're getting a drink of water. Reset. Building Olympia, are you ready to join us? <laughs> are you gonna join in on the second set? Okay, second set. Same thing, V-stance goblet squat, grab your weight. I'm starting on my right leg, and we're going for 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch. My left leg is in front, my right leg is in the back, and I'm not putting much weight on the back leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, plie squat. Down for ten. 10, nine, chest, chest brow. Show me what's on your t-shirt. Shouldn't be leaning over. Two, one. Okay, lying abductor again. Get your band, put it right above your knees. Lay on your side. You want your knees to be at a 90 degree angle. And we're gonna go for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, and one. I like to do those more slow and controlled, um, just to really get that muscle. Your outer glutes, you can work your glutes a lot because they are a very big muscle. Okay, we're going for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, first try set is complete. Get a drink of water. I'll walk you through the second tricep. So we're gonna repeat that kind of style where we do three moves, two times through, four times total. Four different sets, okay? So, ready, yay, okay. So the second tricep is going to be sumo deadlift, sideline hip raise, and deadlift pulses. Okay, sumo deadlift. You can do these, <coughs> excuse me. 
You can do these with a straight bar, a kettlebell, or a dumbbell. So you're gonna want to take your stance a little bit wider, toes pointed out, okay, and you'll go down, and then you'll come up. So you want to, if it is a hinging motion, but it kind of feels like a squat too. Okay. While I'm standing up, deadlift pulses, you're going to do a straight legged deadlift, hinge at your hips, and you're just going to pulse for 10. Okay? And then sideline, sideline hip raise. You're going to take your band again. These are fun. They take a slight amount of coordination, which I do not have, but I'm going to try my best. Okay? You're going to be on your side in a side plank. You'll go down and then come back up. Okay? And then obviously repeat on the other side. So those are our next three moves. Sumo deadlift. That's what we're starting with. And we will do 10. Okay? So, feet are wide, toes are pointed out, and we're going for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Down to the ground. All this up and down, it, it can actually get your heart rate up. <laughs> so that's good, at least. Okay, I'm gonna start on my left side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides or roll over. Okay. Up in your plank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those will also work your core and your outer glutes. Okay, dumbbell pulses. So, straight leg dumbbell, I mean straight leg deadlift. <laughs> um, and we're just going to pulse it out for 10. So hinge at your hips. One, two, three, core tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, get a drink of water if you need to, and then we're going to repeat that. I already hate this plank. <laughs> the plank with the dip and the abduction, it's a lot, it takes a lot of coordination. <laughs> um, okay, sumo deadlift again, so we're gonna go ahead and get back into it. Okay, feet wide and we're going for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Down on the ground, grab your band if you have one, place it around the top of your knees, Okay, getting your side plank. And we're going for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Switch sides, roll over.
and we're going for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, dumbbell deadlift. Pulses, go heavy for this one if you can. Okay. Hinge at your hips. Straight legs, slight bend in your knees just to protect them. Straight back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Get a drink of water. Let me check the comments. I cheated and did it laying down. <laughs> Hey, you're still targeting your outer glutes, that all, that's all that matters. Okay, tricep three, single leg deadlifts, single leg hip bridge, and then a hip thruster. So, four, the single leg deadlifts. I'm going to get a little bit of a lighter weight. So these you wanna keep slow and controlled um, because you're doing, it's, it's lateral work, so. Slow and controlled. I'm gonna start on my right side. I'm just showing you guys. So start on your right side, neutral spine, engage your core, go down, and then come back up. You do not need to be doing this. This is a no. You lose your balance, you're extending the muscle too far. As soon as you feel that tension in your standing leg on the back of your leg, you're good to go to come back up. So I'll show you from the side my range of motion. One more time, lost my balance. So right here, this is as far as I'm going and then I'm coming back up. Cause at that point I felt the tension in the back of my leg. Single leg hip bridge, down on the ground. You will. I'm going to show you on my left side. So you're going to put your right knee at a 90 degree angle. And you will just do a single leg hip bridge. Squeeze your glute. Hip thruster. I'm going to add a band for this one. Same thing. You're going to add the band around the top part of your knees. And then if you want, add a weight on your hips. When you're doing this, you wanna create a tension in the band by pushing your knees out, and then you'll go up and press up. You don't want to touch your um, butt all the way to the floor like this and relax. You want to keep tension the entire time. So just barely touch your butt when you come down, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Single leg deadlift. Okay, grab your weight. So I'm going to do, I will hold the weight in my left arm for my left leg. Okay, I'm gonna start on my left side. Start on your weaker side, your non-dominant side. And tip and hinge at your hips. One, two, Three, four, we're gonna count that. Keep your core tight. Five, six, slow and control. Seven, eight, nine, last one. Ten. Switch. So my right leg is going to be planted on the ground. It means I'm holding the weight in my right hand. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, 
three, two, one. Okay, drop your weight down on the ground. Single leg hip bridge. Again, I'm gonna start on my left side, my non-dominant side. So up into a bridge, my right knee comes to 90 degree angles. I'm pressing my shoulders and lats into the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, hip thruster. So even though we're going to add weight on these hip thrusters, we're kind of going to use it as like a pulsing and a little burnout for our glutes. Okay, so I'm probably going to count a little bit faster. Grab your weight, get set up. My core is engaged, slight pelvic tilt, and we're going to press up for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and we're going to repeat all of that. Let me check the comments to make sure everything's okay. Make sure nobody has questions. Oh yes, love hip thrusts. They're like one of my all-time favorites. It's hard to mess up and injure yourself when you're doing hip thrusts. It's possible, but very hard. <laughs> so, that's why I like them. They're safe for everybody. And you can load a lot of weight on them too. Okay. We're going to repeat that one more time. And then we have another, a last tricep. We're doing good on time. Okay? So grab your weight for the single leg deadlift. I'm gonna start on my left side. Pelvic tilt, engage your core. And tip and hinge. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch over. Okay. Ten. Nine. Eight, <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Down on the ground, single leg hip thrust. Okay, I'm again just gonna start on my left side. So press up, and you want to keep both hips up. You don't want this right side to sink down even though you're not using it, okay? You want it to stay up, so that means you have to engage your core. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, grab your hip circle, place it around the top of your knees, right above your knees. Grab your weight, we're gonna pulse it out for 20. One, two, three, four, five, Six, big squeeze at the top, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, we've made it to the last tricep, guys. So, this one is going to be narrow stance deadlift. So just a regular deadlift, then to a calf raise. Then we're going to do an elevated quad hold, which I need to hold on to something so you guys can still see me over here. We're gonna place a band around your ankles. You're going to extend here and press up. Let me answer this question. Yes. Very easy mind-muscle connection for, for your glutes. So let me show you. Narrow stance deadlift to calf raise. Grab your weight. You're going to hinge at your hips. Come up. Calf raise. Okay. Elevated quad hold. I'm going to take my band. Wrap it around my feet. Actually, I'm gonna put it around my ankles, that will be easier. Extend my left leg, and then press up on my right leg. Do a little calf raise there. Okay. <clears throat> inner thigh trimmer. Love working inner thighs. You're gonna be laying down for this one, and you're going to bring your right foot in front of your left leg and you're going to lift your left leg up. And you should be feeling that in your inner thigh right there. Okay, so those are our last three moves. So let's go ahead and get started. So grab your weight, narrow stance, deadlift to a calf raise. I'll do the first set facing you guys. I'll do the second set facing the side so you can see form. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, we're doing ten, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Elevated quad hold. Ten each side. So put that around the bottom of your ankles. You can also do it if you have good balance skills. Standing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. My right leg is in front. I'm going to. Do a calf raise on my left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, inner thigh trimmer. Twenty on each side, down to the ground. We're going for twenty. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Opposite side. So now I'm laying on my right side. My left foot will be over my right leg. We're going for 20. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to repeat that one more time. 
I know, the calf raises, so I had never done like a deadlift to a calf raise. I like that little combo. I've never worked calf specifically, so it's good to just throw that in there. Okay, narrow stance, deadlift to a calf raise. We're going to repeat that, so grab your weight. I'm going to do it from the side so you can see form. Ready? 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Elevated quad hold. Band around your ankles, and I'm holding. I'm gonna hold on to this for balance. Extend your left leg. One, two. We're going up on our right leg. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. I'm just gonna turn around really quick. Okay, I'm extending my right leg. I'm going to press up through my left calf. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down on the ground for the inner thigh tremor. My shoe came untied. That's okay. Ready? Point your toe and go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch. Okay, point your toe and lift through that inner thigh. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. The hard part is done. I'm going to add in. Calves are one of your favorite. Oh. Oh, so sorry. I did move a little fast towards the end. Okay, I'm going to do a little core finisher and just show you guys the moves. We're going to do it once. Uh, there's three moves. We're gonna do it once each move 10 times. So, take a seat. Let me move these. Okay. Take a seat and we're going to do a V-sit. You're going to extend and back in. Two, three, okay? Next one, reverse crunch. So you'll lay all the way down. You'll extend your legs and you'll bring them in. So get, getting those lower abdominals. And then a lying leg lift, also for lower, lower abs. You're going to extend your legs all the way. You're going to pretend like you have a string at the bottom of your heels and lift up. Okay, those are our three moves. So we're going to go ahead and do those really quickly. A V-sit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse crunch. Ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 
We've completed it. If you want to do that little core circuit multiple times, feel free. But just wanted to top that off as a little finisher. I have fun working out with you guys today. And I hope you guys have a good weekend. Good Halloween weekend, holiday weekend. Do something fun and enjoy it. Have a good day building, Olympia. I hope to see you next time. <laughs>